when you have a, a mixture like you do on the field lineup wise, is that difficult to play when you're maybe not as familiar with the personnel? Or do you feel that you should be familiar in training? Uh, I would say it's a little bit more difficult. However, we're all professionals. Uh, we get we should be expected to perform no matter who we who we put out there. Um, I think we we didn't quite click as quickly as we wanted to. Yeah, I think you could see that out there. Um, unfortunately, we we we're not advancing. So ultimately, that's that's uh, that's on us as as players. Were you expecting them to play three in the back? That's no, we um we were expect they for some years now they've been playing a four three three. Uh, and they came out with kind of a three in the back, five in the back, however you want to call it. But um, it wasn't necessarily what they were doing. It was, you know, it always comes down to how we play. And unfortunately, like I said, we didn't quite have enough today. So, Did you have to adjust anything because of that different formation? No, I don't think so. I mean, we, we just had to, we probably had to shift a little bit quicker as, as um, units in the midfield and defensively because uh, they had a few extra numbers in the middle of the park. Um, but I think we've kind of, once we figured out a little bit of our press, we had some good moments, uh, but we kind of came out of the second half a little bit too slow, and after that first goal we gave up after a couple minutes, we were fighting an uphill battle from there. It seemed like on both goals, Someone made a, a, a penetrating run through the middle. One was the center back, and the second one was Russell. Was that just maybe not communication on who was going to close the runner down in those situations? Possibly. I mean, the first goal uh, was the center back, I think, who uh, made the run. And, yeah, someone's got to step up and make a tackle um, or make him make a decision a little bit quicker. We should never allow a center back to make that big of a run without engaging. So um, I'm not sure who that falls on. It falls on a group um, communicating, someone, you know, stepping up. But, uh, yeah, that's we, we got to stop that from happening because we, we definitely shouldn't let the center back take that much space in our defensive half. Anything else for Nick? I know this isn't on the forefront of your mind, but you did get to play against Matt. What was that like? Yeah, I mean, that was cool. Um, it's always, I mean, that was my first time playing against him, so it was a unique experience. It was, uh, before the match, it was nice uh, to see, you know, see him. Gave him a hug before the game, but to be honest with you, in the 90 minutes, I don't think I was within a, like five feet of him, so I didn't really even know, like, wasn't going through my mind that I was playing against him, but uh, before and after the match, it was uh, a cool moment to, to have him on the field with me.